Hello, salut tout le monde. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a beginner's version of Key Great Variety Riesling. My name is Jimmy Smith, and I am uh, your tutor for this short session. Okay, so Riesling first up. So Riesling is, uh, as it's suggested here, it's very likely to come from the Rheingau zone. So this is within Germany. So Riesling's home is Germany. It's had a, a good sort of six, 700 years of documented history from that area. So we know it's kind of German in origin uh, and then spreading across Europe and eventually into the new world. Now, Germany is a very cool zone as is Alsace in France, the part of France that borders Germany. So these are cool zones and Riesling loves cool areas. It's best produced, the most premium examples are found in these cool, cool areas. Uh, it's very good in uh, in warm places as well, uh, but it's best certainly is the cool, cool areas. Um, now Riesling is a wine that will be a grape that's made as a wine that is in stainless steel. So you'll often find no oak, uh, and you'll often find the wines therefore being produced in a very fresh and aromatic way. That is the, the likelihood of Riesling. Uh, and it's also normally always found as a varietal, so a single varietal. There are some blends in the world, but we are talking well in excess of 95% Riesling produced in the world is a single varietal, meaning it's only gonna be Riesling found in the bottle. Um, now Riesling as its own grape is remarkably diverse. Winemakers produce it in a variety of, st of styles. Uh, so it is made as a still to a sparkling, and then as a dry to a sweet and everything in between. So it is a really complex variety. Many of you may know it more as a sweeter style. Germany used to produce a lot of sweet Riesling, but in the last 20, 30 years, even Germany has started making more drier examples of Riesling as the world today wants more drier wines. Um, so you do find a big diversity uh, amongst the great variety of, of, of Riesling. Uh, the key places for Riesling are, of course, its home, which is uh, in Germany. Uh, so there is um, a wonderful production there. Uh, it's by far the most production as well. Um, it's, it's several times bigger than anywhere else. And around the Mosul, the Mosul River and the Rheingau, which is in the southwest of Germany. Then elsewhere, um, quite a few other countries, but the only big significant ones are Australia, probably the biggest in the new world, along with Washington State a bit as well. That's Claire and Eden. And then in France, and it's all the Germanic influence east part of France. So that's uh, Alsace in the border of, uh, or the shadow of the Vosges Mountains, just south of Strasbourg. Uh, and that's the key areas for it. Normally in Australia and France, they are produced in dry styles. Uh, in Germany, you get a mixed bag. And what do we expect? Now, Riesling is a very acidic grape variety, so very high in natural acids. Uh, producing these very, very fresh wines. So you'll see in this picture, you have uh, things like lemon, apple, lime, so things like peach or nectarine. And that movement from a fresher citric or green fruit to a stone fruit or even tropical sometimes is really going from a cold location like Germany and Alsace to a warm location somewhere like Australia. Uh, and that's your kind of fruit backbone of, uh, of, uh, of Riesling. Uh, in the background, you may see the floral notes of Riesling, things like jasmine, blossom, or chamomile is quite uh, common on the younger style Rieslings. And Riesling as it ages can be a little bit more honeyed, petrally. Um, and that's quite a classic note. Some people are obsessed with Riesling when it ages because of this really interesting aroma of petrol oily sort of note to it, it's beeswaxy character. Um, so Rieslings uh, are fabulous, very regal, often called the most noble of the white grapes. I hope you've enjoyed your introduction to it. If you wish to know a little bit more about it, please look at the advanced version, which is about three times as long as this presentation. So I've been Jimmy Smith of West London Wine School, South London Wine School and Streatham Winehouse. Please, if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line at Wine with Jimmy. But until next time, thank you very much and cheers. Bye bye.